Now, Celebrity Sports Apprentice. With tonight's apprentice, U.S. champion figure skater Rachel Flatt. All right, here we go. Welcome to the very first installment of the Celebrity Sports Apprentice on News First Five. It's going to be a fun-filled week as area sports celebrities anchor the sportscast each night at 6 this week. And we kick it off with a bang. 2010 U.S. figure skating champ Rachel Flatt is in the studio with us right now. Rachel, I'm <laughs> honored. It's good to see you. You too. It's great to be here. Well, you have been a big hit at the station this afternoon. Everybody just loves you. <laughs> uh, you have a reputation as a figure skater. I've heard Scott Hamilton say this numerous times, that you have nerves of steel and you don't crack <laughs> under the pressure. So this has got to be a piece of cake for you. Ah, uh, we'll see. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to talk just a little bit about you and your career and where you're going. Six o'clock, you'll anchor the sports. Now, mm -hmm. yesterday we told everybody about you. You're the 2010 U.S. figure skating champ. You represented the U.S. very well at the Olympics in Vancouver, which I'm sure was exciting. Uh, and you participated this year in the U.S. figure skating championships and the worlds. I, I guess the last couple of years, kind of a blur for you. A little bit, yeah, but it's just been so exciting. I've had so many wonderful experiences, and uh, it's just been so much fun, so I really appreciate that. It's been a wonderful opportunity so far. <laughs> Graduate of Cheyenne Mountain High School, but mm -hmm. I understand that uh, you're going to be leaving the community here very soon, but it's for a good reason. Yes, I'm heading to Stanford this wow. fall, so I'm very excited. Our first week is uh, the last week of September, so I'll be here uh, sporadically throughout the summer. But um, you know, I'm I'm bummed to leave, but I'm certainly looking forward to starting a new uh, new experience at uh, Stanford. Well, Stanford obviously is is a tough mm -hmm. school, and it's going to be tough enough keeping up the academics. Mm -hmm. Can you also skate while you're there? You know, I would love to. Um, at this point, I think it's certainly a great option, and I, you know, I'm certainly looking forward to challenging myself yet once again. <laughs> but uh, you know, I think it'll be a great opportunity for me and um, I'm certainly looking forward to it. You know, in the sports office, we were talking a little bit earlier, there's a figure skater who I think was a past U.S. champion, Debbie Thomas, mm -hmm. who studied at Stanford and skated at the same time. Yep. You talked to her. Yeah, absolutely. And she, you know, gave me lots of advice on how to uh, balance my life, um, both academically and athletically. So, you know, I'm certainly... I'm certainly looking forward to it, but uh, I know it'll be difficult. <laughs> One other thing I wanted to touch on, uh, I don't think too many people knew this, but at the World Championships in Moscow just a couple of weeks ago, you had a stress fracture, and you still competed. That, yeah. You're, you're pretty <laughs> tough, i got to say. Yeah, I had a stress fracture in my tibia, um, so and it was on my landing leg. So that was uh, not too much fun to deal with, but... Um, you know, I didn't really get the diagnosis until right before we left, and it was just very hectic, and um, I certainly wasn't able to compete at, uh, at my best, but, um, you know, I pushed through it and still uh, still earned two slots for the ladies next year, but um, it was tough. It wasn't my best, but I'm glad I got through it. <laughs> All right, great. Six o'clock, Rachel Flatt anchors the sportscast. Rob and Lisa. Now, Celebrity Sports Apprentice. With tonight's apprentice, U.S. champion figure skater Rachel Flatt. All right, here we go. Rachel, an Olympian as well. She's the first of our four celebrity sportscasters this week as we kick off the Celebrity Sports Apprentice. She's the 2010 U.S. figure skating champ. And Rachel, we talked a lot at, six, or at 5 o'clock about what you've done and where you've been. But now, your big moment, you get to do the sports. Are you ready? I hope so, yeah. <laughs> I know you're ready. You're going to do great. Ladies and gentlemen, our first Celebrity Sports Apprentice. Thanks, Lee. Mm -hmm. First up tonight, big news for former Air Force football coach Fisher DeBerry. This morning, Fisher was one of two coaches selected into college football's Hall of Fame. DeBerry and former Michigan coach Lloyd Carr will be inducted on December 2nd. DeBerry is the winningest coach in Service Academy football history. In 23 Did legendary years at Air Force, DeBerry won 169 games and he was 6 to 6 in bowl games. He has numerous Coach of the Year awards and the honors go on and on. He was the They're mastermind really of the option offense that Air Force continues to run today. The 72-year-old DeBerry retired from Air Force after the 2006 season. There were some late game heroics for the Colorado Rockies this afternoon at Coors Field. And the final score was 5-3 as uh, Colorado sweeps San Francisco, two games to none. And the Rocks begin a five-game road trip beginning at, uh, tomorrow at Philadelphia. 
And this week's Loaf and Jug High School Athlete of the Week is actually two athletes. Congratulations to the Cheyenne Mountain Tennis Doubles team of Laney O'Neill and Katie Signaro. Both juniors at Cheyenne Mountain, Laney and Katie won the state title in number two doubles on Saturday. They also helped lead the Indians tennis team to their third straight state championship. With tennis, I mean, the momentum can switch anytime. So even if you're up a set or up like three love, five love, you still have to stay strong because, I mean, they can come back quick. Cheyenne Mountain had three doubles teams win state titles on Saturday, and the Indians girls tennis team also has now won a remarkable 16 team championships. That's one more state championship banner in the Cheyenne Mountain High School gym, so a huge congratulations to you all. And remember, anybody can nominate a Loaf and Jug Athlete of the Week. Just go to newsfirst5.com. Yeah! <laughs> you did it! That, yeah! Nice and nice. <laughs> that was fun, actually. It was really? fun. Yeah, it was you know, fun. Baseball highlights are not easy to do. That's the toughest part of this That's job. Right. She did, She was a pro. <laughs> and don't forget, folks, they're voting newsfirst5.com, right? Voting is up now. Go to newsfirst5.com. If you'd like to vote for Rachel, vote for Rachel. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow night we have Troy Calhoun, Frank Saratori on Thursday, Justin Armour on Friday. It's going to be a fun week. They yeah. have a tough act to follow. How about a 9.8? Yeah. <laughs> I'll take that. Good stuff. Thanks, Thanks. Rachel. Thank Great you job. very much. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you at 10.